7 Commanders, and hello. I'm Commander Aloysius Black, and I wanted to share a video on some recently implemented new features of the ED Copilot software. Firstly, please note I will be assuming that you already have some familiarity with how ED Copilot works, and in particular the creation of bookmarks in ED Copilot. So, let's dive straight in. ED Copilot has some new functionality for reporting the status of your in-game faction. ED Copilot will gather information on each of your systems and present the information within its GUI, but also as an exported spreadsheet. Let's run through how to set things up. The first thing you're going to need is a Copilot bookmark group, which contains bookmarks for all of your faction systems. You set this up on the Places tab in Bookmark Groups. Simply create a new bookmark group and then add your systems to it. It should look like this when you're done. Next, head to the Settings and select Feature Settings. So Settings, top right. We go to feature settings. Then we're going to scroll down to faction systems reporting section. Here we are. Turn on the feature. Enter the name of your faction. This is case sensitive and should appear as it is displayed in Anara. Next, enter the name of the bookmark group that you created with your faction systems in it. The next two items you can experiment with. Data on Inara is only useful if it is up to date. Copilot can check the data age and automatically create a bookmark group of systems that need flying through in order to update the system data. More on this later. Next, we head over to UI settings. I would suggest initially that you leave these settings to the defaults, but head back here if you want to change how the report panel behaves when you click different columns. Scroll down to the Faction Systems panel. The defaults mean that if you click the Faction number, a command submenu will appear. Clicking the system name button will plot a course to that system. Clicking the faction states or the rival faction column will bring up the system information panel. These can be changed if you have different preferences. That is setup complete. Next time you start Copilot, it will start checking your system data and create a report automatically. Let's look at the report page, Commanders. If we head to the Information tab, we can scroll down to Faction Systems. This brings us to the report page. Reading from left to right, we have the record number, system name, any significant faction states within the system, total number of factions within the system, our influence percentage, our position within the system, the rival faction name, the rival influence percentage, the rival's position within the system, the age of the data, and the delta influence, which is our influence level minus the rival faction's influence level. Note that systems that we do not control are highlighted at the top of the system, and in the case of the rival faction, this is not our nearest rival, but the faction who controls the system a in position one. This gives us an indication of how much work we have to achieve to gain control of the system. Any of our systems that have an influence gap less than 20% are 
are also highlighted, as are any of our systems that have an influence greater than 70% and potentially need attention depending on whether we want the system to expand or not. The columns can be sorted by system name, by the age of the data and by the delta influence. If we click the delta influence we can see the bottom end of the table which highlights any systems over 70%. There is a control at the top of the screen that we can click to rerun the report. Of course, Copilot integrates with voice attack and this functionality is controllable through voice commands. These include rerun restart faction report, faction systems not updated in 1 to 50 hours, check faction systems not updated in 1 to 50 hours. Given that rerun or restart report is self-explanatory, let's take a look at the last two commands. The first command is to allow you to isolate old online data. Faction systems not updated in, say for example, 14 hours, will create a bookmark group of your systems where the online data is older than 14 hours. This is useful as you can then navigate through those systems to update the online data. The top tip here is to use the create optimal route command, I can get you, commander. on this bookmark group which will make your route as efficient as possible. The last command should really be run once the previous command has finished and your fly through of the isolated systems is complete. Check faction systems not updated in say for example 14 hours will then update ED Copilot's data for only those systems where the online data is older than 14 hours. ED Copilot will update the report display page in its GUI and also the outputted spreadsheet file which is a comma separated values format. You can find this file in the working folder of ED Copilot's installation folder. Usually C colon backslash ED Copilot backslash working Thank you for watching, Commanders 07. I hope you enjoy the new reporting features in ED Copilot and find them useful. I certainly do. I'll put links to ED Copilot's webpage in the video description. Thanks for watching.